this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Man, we had a real great Bible study this morning. We talked about Romans 6 that says to be cardinally minded as death or be spiritually minded as life and peace. We talked about the fact is that we really did uh, dig down into the scriptures, the, the, the challenge of things that goes against all of us for the peace of mind. The peace of mind is it passes all understanding. And we, we, we focus on the fact that the last week that we're no longer under the law. You know, I love some people say they want the law. We have to have the law because we need these guardrails. And we already realize from history, those guardrails have fallen, have failed to keep us to do the right thing. But the guardrails of love, John 13, 34, so this is a new commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So we, <laughs> we want to be able to start operating in love, man, love for one another. See, Romans 8 verse 1 said, there's now therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We even know the fact is that in, 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 the, in the scriptures that you're going to see in the Bible study, we even know the fact is that those are in the flesh cannot please God and that the laws of God are not subject to them. Oh, that's a marvel thing for people to understand. We try to put the law on people, but the laws of God is not subject to those who are in the flesh. Being carnally minded, you are not under the laws of God because you're already condemned. This is talking about having a eternal life in Christ Jesus. Those who don't believe in eternal life, they're already condemned. Those who don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, they're already condemned. But those of us who have received Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. And we're not, we're not cardinally minded, but we're spiritually minded, and spiritually minded being word minded. So really take a look at the study that we did today, this Sunday, and I guarantee you'll love it. And the other piece we found out too, and I want to study a little bit more that I want you to study on with me as well, look into it until the next time we talk, is the difference between feeling and believing. See, John 3.16 says, To God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he interested the fact he said, believe, right? And then we talk about feelings. And, and the fact is that sometimes we feel like something ain't right. We sometimes say we, we may believe some people, I believe people think in this way about me, but you don't really, you have nothing, your foundation of belief is not in believing in God, but believing in your feelings, and your feelings, in most cases, is based derived from your senses. And then if you go by your senses, and which means your flesh, Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. So let's think about that and study that a little bit more. I want you to meditate on until the next time we, we have a study. Feeling versus believing. I really believe and believe in God, not believe in my ability, not believe in your ability, not believe in the world ability, not believe in man's ability. See, even we have a situation dealing with racism. <laughs> Somebody's believing in their flesh. The son that believe in the flesh, but the, the, the of superiority based on their white. Some believe in the flesh based on superiority of, the, of being black. Those beliefs has weak foundations. Believing in God has the power and the might of God. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next Sunday. We also have Thursday night videos, a live session, so you're welcome to join there as well. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight, and don't forget we love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. It was great study. Please take time to look at it. All right. Hope you enjoy the videos. Bye. <laughs>
So that Caleb, verse 30, said, Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. We are because it was promised to us that we can do it. He told us we can do it. He said, spies, just to go and take a look and confirm. Yes, the land is milk and honey. But look at the book, look at the, they read the ones that they had a feeling. Look at their feeling, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Says in, in 31, but the man that went up with him, this is their mindset. Yes. We be not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. Now, how does he know? Did he test their strength? He, he, he going by his sight. Going by his his strength. Yes. Not sir. by the strength of God that God demonstrated. Yeah. Hey, look, my fact is saying he's going by what he feels, what yes. his senses told him. Right? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> and they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up its inhabitants thereof. Eating up the, the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, I don't look, understand. That, that, I don't that, gotta, understand. that gotta be a feeling, because obviously <laughs> he didn't get, they didn't get eaten up, right? And the people in there didn't get up because they're in there, right? So that's a or maybe feeling. it was it was it was so vast it just swallowed them. They looked like they were being swallowed by the vastness of this land, I guess. And then, yeah. and, and, and then it goes on. It says, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. They didn't see not one woman. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't see no children. They only saw men of great stature. And there we saw the giant. The sons of Anak, which came of the giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. So <laughs> they, they 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 were going by, yeah, going by the on, on, on their ability. Exactly. In other words, they weren't believing in what God can do. They were believing on their own ability, and on top of that, they were believing in the ability of the people they were looking at. They were going yeah. back what they feel. Do, do you think that that's based on how they felt? Obviously, it's not what they experienced, they saw, but yet they feel. Do you know what I'm saying? Is I feel that we can't take, I feel these people are stronger than us. And as long as you believe that, right, opposed to the fact that God is with me, right? That's why I'm trying to say, even go back to the Bible study you had, right? The Bible study. Well, the question that you had early this week was, what if I don't feel like being saved? But what does the word say? You see what I'm saying? It's not a comparison of what God said. It's based on what you feel. See, and, and I believe, and this is what's going through my mind now, that the question lends itself, do you believe that God exists? Come on, come on. Because if you believe that God exists, then that means you believe that God is the creator of everything. Everything. Including yourself. Yes, sir. And if you yes. can believe that, then you have to believe everything else, that God sent his son. Yes. That God, that God did all that he did. Come he on. created all creation. Come on now. He, he he did all these different miracles with the prophets. Then he did all these miracles through his son that he gave. Yes, he sir. raised his son from the dead. Come and on. if he could do all that, and if his son can raise up a man that was dead, Come on. If, his, if his son can cure Blinded eyes, come you on, know, just regenerate new eyes, regenerate an arm. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. if if the if, if the, the, the the disciples can can make can can 
have a man stand up that's been lame Woo! for his entire life. Come on, come on. And walk without going through therapy and rehab and, and, oh. and all the other stuff. If he could just stand up and walk, Woo! if a blind person that can see can can know what a person looks like yes, who is blind at birth. <laughs> So it's not just the blindness, it is the knowledge that comes with sight. The knowledge. There is, there is sight and then there's information that you have from yes. having sight. Yes, you sir. got the sight with the information. The information. <laughs> yes, sir. So if you can do that, then death is not a problem for you because you believe that God is. God is. God is, right. You believe, and look, matter of fact, you, you, well, to back up your, what you were just saying, don't forget 2 Corinthians chapter 10, where it says, verse three, for the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, but mighty what? Through God, for the pulling down the storm, down the storm. casting down imagination, and every high thing that exalts that itself against what? The, the knowledge. knowledge. The knowledge of God. Come on, brother. So look, sound like to me, like even the conversation in the Bible study is, is what you're saying lines up with the knowledge of that what God's have, that, come on now. Yeah, the knowledge that you have of God. Does, does that God that's not my father. Woo! Come on, brother. You're talking. And see, and 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 what what I've been dealing with is this thing that I I am a child of God. Revelation. I'm an offspring of God. Jesus was an offspring of God. And if Jesus walked in this world a certain type of way, why ain't I? Why that's the whole thing, right? You know, I, I, I man. I'm getting this thing yeah. to I'm a, I mean just the fact to to understand that I am a child of God as Christ is a child of God. Hey look, like, can you put can you read the words that I am what he says I am? Yes. Yes. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I am not what you say I am. I am not what I feel I am. I am what he says I am. That's who I am. You see what I'm saying? It's not yeah. based, I'm not going to drive my life based on my feelings. I'm going to drive my life based on his word. So faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing the word of God. Hearing the word of God and hearing by the word of God. Well, hearing you, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know? And, and therefore, it goes back to what we were saying earlier in that scripture, because this is what everybody wants, right? Is this right here, the verse we did, verse six. This is what we all want. You tell me that that's not true. What do we want? We want peace, right? Yeah. Did, did you we be want right? Huh? And, and it's, it's in a great, the, the way it's written is the way we want it. We want to live. We want, we want life. Yes, sir. And then we want peace in peace. that life. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! You know, and, and, and if your life is threatened, then obviously your peace is threatened. Your peace is threatened, right. But if your life is in God's hand, your peace is in God's hand. Come on now, come on. 